six months. The registration will take about seven months for all the people in Lay District to be enrolled and registered. This will include people living within the six wards in Lay Eben and the 23 wards of the IE local level government. <laughs> You may get mixed man or city. Others residing along the fringes of Lay will also be included in the registration in order for the Lay District Administration to plan for developments. Today we are proud that uh, we are launching it. We are now enrolling uh, people in uh, Ward, Ward 2 in Butibam uh, village and we will continue until we complete uh, IELG wards, which is uh, uh, 17 wards, and then we will. Uh, go to Leben wards, which is uh, six wards. During the registration, details of birth, origin, education, background, and employment are recorded into a database spreadsheet. Facial, iris, and fingerprint scans will be taken to prevent the duplication of a person's identity. We like uh, appeal long over the line inside the lay district to to come uh, register yourself where you you are located, like ward one to ward six in uh, Leben. Uh, those people living in those uh, uh, areas should, should uh, register and get themselves registered so that they, they, they are seen as part, part of Lay District. For the past five years, the number of people moving in and out of Lay has significantly increased due to the developments taking place in the city. This has been a concern for authorities, including the police, to keep a track record of the citizens in order to keep lawlessness in the city. In of Lay City, there's a lot of development taking place. And with development, we must take uh, must take into account who's doing this and who's doing that. So we must know which people are inside our district too. Uh. Meanwhile, a bill pertaining the use of biometrics has also been brought under Parliament's scrutiny during its last two sessions. It will be discussed again when Parliament convenes this month. The IE local level government, the traditional inhabitants of Lay City, has come under limelight in recent years following the selling of traditional land through illegal land deals. The woman who is heading the project, the lay MP Muja Akuza, wants to make sure selling of land is legal and that through the biometric system she believes will help solve the problem. Sylvester Gawi, National MTV News, Lay.